Hey YouTube, today we're going to spend a minute with my Hamilton Khaki Field Mechanical. So I've had this watch for a few weeks now and I just wanted to do a quick review um, about it in case you're curious about this watch, picking it up, um, just want to know what it's like to live with. So as I said, I've had it for a few weeks. It's been an amazing timekeeper, um, has kept, you know, very accurate time, um, you know, maybe a few seconds here or there a day, um, but certainly no deal breakers. Um, I really, what I've loved most is just the overall look and feel of the watch. It comes on this bracelet, which isn't shiny. It's it's kind of a matte, sort of bead blasted finish. Um, and then the stark, you know, the black dial, uh, matte black dial with the kind of creamy, uh, creamy loom, you could say, that's kind of on the uh, minute hand, the hour hand, the second hand, as well as the indices there. It just makes it like really easy to read. And I was originally a little bit curious about how I'd feel about the Hamilton logo on the dial. Um, I kind of thought it'd be nice to just not have any any brand mark there, but I actually really like the logo. It's like thin, uh, thin enough where it has a bit of character um, and doesn't really scream at you. I really like the lollipop end on the seconds hand there as well. So living with this watch for a few weeks, it's it's been really great. Um, you can see that the crown um, is kind of oversized, so it makes hand winding really great. It does have 80 hours of power reserve, so it's not really something you need to worry about a lot, um, but winding this watch is, is really truly a joy. Um, again, the dial is super clear, super legible. Um, the, you know, 24, 13, 14, 15, 16, you know, the, the markers uh, in military time, essentially, around the dial, I also thought would be a little bit kind of cluttering um, and thought originally that I could do without them. Um, but I just came back, actually, from, uh, you know, a week or so in Europe uh, where they use military time for pretty much um, a lot of things. So if you're making a dinner reservation uh, really quickly, you can see, you know, what 1930 is for, for you know, us Americans here who may not be as familiar with that. Um, so yeah, super actually, actually really helpful um, and have enjoyed that. The bracelet I really like. I could kind of do without this flip lock um, at the back. It's a little bit hard to undo, um, but overall the bracelet's incredibly comfortable. You can kind of see sort of an oyster style um, with a split of the link uh, in the middle there. It just makes it really easy uh, to wear, very, very comfortable. Um, yeah, really great watch. Uh, comes in around $675. Um, again, 38 millimeters, really easy to wear, really great military history from Hamilton, originally based in the US, but you can see at the bottom there, you know, Swiss made watch now. Again, just, you know, hard to beat this. A lot of watch for the money, uh, really great military styling, classic, easy to wear, under the radar, but if you know, you know, kind of a thing. Um, so yeah, I would highly recommend this. Leave any comments or questions down below. Happy to answer anything that you guys want to know about the watch. And uh, give me a subscribe, trying to hit a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. I'll talk to you guys soon.